When I was younger, growing up where I'm from, it was difficult, difficult, difficult. Living on hand me downs, cause we had little funds. It was difficult, difficult. And I even went to school with holes in my shoes. It was Hi, my name is Ariana Garcia. I'm a second year sociology major at UCLA and I'm running for Compton City Council District 4. So I'm sure some of you have seen my Fox News interview where I announced I'm running for City Council and I've heard the feedback that you guys wanted to hear from me, so here I am. So I am not a seasoned politician, but I am a public servant and a person of change. So in explaining my platform, it may not be in the formal way that you're used to hearing it, but you will understand my point. So I'm not going to appease you and name drop all the problems that we've been hearing for the last decades, potholes and graffiti, because we know that that's an issue. But upon being elected, I can actually be behind closed doors and sit in a better position to figure out where the dysfunction is and why we've been dealing with this problem. If we have the money to fix it, why is it not getting done? I want to address crime, but I want to address it from a different perspective. I believe that if we bring resources to our youth, like training, jobs, exposure, we can give them a way to make a living without having to choose crime as a way of life. For example, if a young girl is struggling financially and doesn't have the skills, the tools, the resources for any revenue, then she may choose prostitution as a way of life. But if she has the tools and the resources and the support, then she'll be able to have the bright future that she deserves. And this concept can be used to approach different areas of crime. In Compton, the homelessness number went from 644 in 2022 to 155 in 2023. So what I would do to eliminate homelessness in Compton is bring in experienced people who have already succeeded in reducing the numbers of homelessness. So my plan is to bring in Ken Kraft, founder of Hope of the Valley Rescue Mission, someone who works closely with tiny homes, and create a partnership with him where the city's responsibility would be to identify the land, and Ken will bring his experience to develop a project so that tiny homes can house the unhoused. We will also partner with drug rehabilitation centers, counselors, mental health counselors, and transition homes to give them the resources to enter back into society. Compton is known for producing some of the most well-known people in the entertainment industry, from sports to music to acting. Currently, the city offers very little training, programs, and resources in these fields. I will create an entertainment community partner commission that will provide the youth with the proper resources and training in all aspects of the entertainment industry to follow their dreams. Not only will we provide training in the creative side, but we will provide training in the business side of the entertainment industry as well. It is imperative that we beautify our city. My plan is to bring in community partners and sponsors to partner up and make Compton one of the most beautiful cities in Los Angeles. By bringing in these additional assets, we take off some of the financial load from the residents who are already paying some of the highest property taxes in the state. My job as a leader is not to know everything, but to form the best team of people who do. I am bringing in the best into the city. On my team will be Rodney Lister, who has a BA in political science and a master's in public administration. He also serves as the chairman of the Compton College Bond Oversight Committee, as well as the commissioner of the City of Compton's Federal Grants Advisory Board. I will also bring in Dr. Fred Martin, founder of Compton Kids Club, who will serve as consultant for community partners and after school programs. Together we will make a better Compton, without the division in race or age, but instead being unified to be the beacon of light that Compton was destined to be. This is me. Be seen.